When you bookmark pages through the Windows 8 tablet, you have a few different options. You can bookmark directly through the web browser and create a favorite, or you could create a shortcut on the desktop. In this case, we'll go ahead and create both different options so that you can see the functionality of the two. We're going to click on the Internet Explorer icon. In the index bar, we're going to enable our keyboard if it doesn't pop up automatically. Anytime that you're entering text into a box, into a window, if the keyboard doesn't pop up automatically, you can just click the little keyboard icon down here and the keyboard will appear. Let's... There we go. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to access the keyboard functionality. Um, so we're going to click in that box. We're going to type in bit.ly forward slash gscsoe. This is the website for the Ed Resources page of the School of Education. We'll click Go. We'll minimize that keyboard, and this is the main Ed Resources page. This contains the handbook, field placement and supervising practitioner information, forms for current students, all of that great information that you want to have access to, including the educator resources uh, for the toolkit. So, if we wanted to bookmark this page, we just click on the star over here on the right, and add it to favorites. It's going to ask for a title. We're going to enable our keyboard again and let's just call it Ed Resources. Hide the keyboard. We're going to add that to our favorites. And now it's in our favorites menu. So anytime we wanted to access this website we could click on favorites over here it will allow us to access that information. The other thing that we can do is create a shortcut on the desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this by holding down. I'm going to copy this link. Okay, Minimize your browser. I'm going to right click on the desktop. Oops. And I'm going to create a new shortcut. The location of the item we've already copied from the browser. So we're going to click in there. And we're going to paste. We'll click Next, and whatever we want to name that Internet shortcut, we can just type it in here. So we're going to call that, again, Ed Resources. Hide the keyboard, Finish to create your shortcut. Now we have a shortcut to the Ed Resources page. If we were to right-click on this, it would bring up the website. So either way, you can access the website as a favorites option. If it's for things like Teachscape, things like the Ed Resources page that you would commonly use that you don't want to have to navigate into Internet Explorer for, it's probably best if you create a shortcut right on your desktop.